This video will show you how to navigate within Pressbooks, which is the platform we use for the text for this course. Each week in this course, you will have an online lesson. If you go down to the online activities, there will be a link to this online lesson. Click on that, and that will take you to the text for the course. The text we're using for this course is an open educational resource that was developed by myself and two other colleagues. An open educational resource is an open licensed text that is available to other instructors and institutions, and it's also free for students. Once you are in this text, um, there's a couple different ways you can navigate. You can navigate down here at the bottom, and that will take you to the different pages within this unit. You can either go to the next page or the previous page. You can also click on contents and you can click on different pages within the unit here. You also can jump to other units within the contents field as well. If you click on the little plus on the right, it will show you the different pages within this unit. Now, if you're wanting to search this text, you're working on the guided notes, maybe study questions, this text does have a search feature. So let's say I want to find out more about diabetes. I will search. And since each of the pages within this text on Pressbooks is its own separate web page, it's not going to highlight the specific word diabetes itself but it will bring you the different web pages or the different pages within this text that discuss diabetes. So you can click on any one of those and then to actually find the word diabetes on this page, you'll have to use your computer's own find feature. So on my computer, that's Command F and I can type in diabetes, I can search, and then it will show me where diabetes is discussed on this particular page. One other thing I want to mention about this text is I'm currently on Wi-Fi in order to read this text. If you would like to read this text offline, then you can go to the home page and there's an option to download the book. Let's see if it's going to work here. So the digital PDF, you can download that to your computer or to your phone, and then you would be able to read this book offline. Now know that when you're offline, there will be certain features of the book that will not work, but a good option if you're wanting to get some work done when you don't have computer access.